But what if I told you that with only $56 million in two years of R&D, a tiny American startup just built a battery that could break that stranglehold and already connected it to the U.S. grid? A battery that requires zero lithium, zero cobalt, zero rare earth metals of any kind. A battery that can't catch fire, that you can run completely dead without damaging it, and can run in extreme sub-zero temperatures, and that's made from some of the most abundant materials on Earth. Literally, iron, carbon, and salt. As an engineer, this is the type of story I love. So when Peak Energy announced that they had quietly built and deployed the world's largest battery of its kind, I knew we had to dig in and separate the hype from the reality. First, Peak Energy's all-American recipe. To build their battery, you need four key things. You need aluminum for the current collectors. You need sodium carbonate, also known as soda ash, for the sodium. You need iron, and you need phosphorus. For the anode, you just need hard carbon. So where do we get them? The U.S. has the world's ninth largest aluminum production capacity. For iron and phosphorus, the U.S. has massive domestic reserves. And soda ash? Wyoming is home to the Green River Basin, which contains the largest soda ash deposit in the world. It's been called the Saudi Arabia of soda ash. We can source virtually 100% of the raw materials for the battery right here at home. 